For decades, triathletes and cyclists have been flocking to the island of Lanzarote for its mild weather, its smooth roads, and its climbs. Arguably, the most famous of them all is this one, Tabiesco. It's just shy of 10 kilometers with an average gradient of 5% and an elevation gain of 607 meters. Fraser and myself have cycled it many times. We've even raced it many times, but this one might be our toughest attempt yet. Um, yeah, Mark, we've, I'm really actually not sure what we've let ourselves in for this time. Yeah, I mean, what started out as a bit of banter between us and a couple of pro athletes, well, it's turned into quite the showdown now between GTN and some of the best triathletes in the world. Yeah, I mean, Mark, look, I really wasn't that great a climber when I was racing professionally, let alone now. So I'm not sure what we've let ourselves in for, but we're going to have to try and think outside the box. Well, it's probably time to show you guys what we have let ourselves in for and those athletes that we're up against. Reese Charles Barkley, professional triathlete, husband to Lucy Charles Barkley, and practically a resident of Lanzarote. Andy Dreitz, Ironman 70.3 European champion and an animal on the bike. Matthew Bottrell, bike coach to a number of the top pro triathletes and a TT superstar. Lucy Charles Barkley, who insisted on doing a karate kick. I mean, fine, who are we to say no? And Tim Don, who actually missed the photo shoot because he was in the van eating sweets. Oh, and not forgetting Gary, Lucy and Reese's mate, who, well, seemed to back himself. Yeah, go on, Gary. Okay, guys, the race is simple. First one to the top is the winner. Now, obviously, this is all just a bit of fun, but when you see the winner's trophy, you may decide to lay it all down out there. Fraser, bring it in. I think you'll agree this is worth climbing for. Yeah. But what we will um, point out is that Mark and I are a little bit of a disadvantage here, so we're giving ourselves a 60-second handicap. Lucy and Reese, you get 30 seconds after us, and then the rest of you are following. Now, personally, I don't think 60 seconds is quite enough, considering half of them on road bikes, but I uh, guess we should uh, forget the excuses. Yeah, we should just give it a go. Is that made from the Golden Fleece? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to feel it? <laughs> It's a close one. I think um, if Lucy gets her tactics right, um, I think she's got a good chance. Um, LL Cool Phrase, you never discount him. Um, so, but where's the smart money? I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Who do you think's going to win, Andy? <laughs> well, the guys of GDN, uh, they look really, really serious. And <laughs> I think with the advantage, uh, it's uh, tough to catch them. So. Uh, the plan is to get them in the side, so if we see them and hopefully we work together at the beginning uh, to close that gap and then everything is possible. Spirits are high, the athletes make their way over to the start line. It's all smiles now, but the tension is building. GTN take pole position on the grid with the best pros in the world behind them. take it serious. <laughs> They're on the bars. Did I realize no one's filming them? Up next, from left to right, Lucy Charles Barkley, Reese Charles Barkley, and Gary. Looking rather nervous. I'm not sure he realizes what he signed himself up for here. Come on. Oh, look at that triple push up from Lucy. Come on, get on the wheel, get on the wheel. Oh God, we're not going that fast, are we, guys? <laughs> Let's move up, move up to the line. Okay, everyone behind me. Interestingly, Reese is already surging ahead and he's um, already dropping his wife. Three, two, one, go team.
Well, that's it. We're all on the road. It's game time. 10K to go. Andy Dreitz is on a mission. <laughs> Equally, Rhys appears to be on a bit of a mission himself too. We are being hunted a very soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, me so <laughs> First pass of the day, it's not even five minutes in. Time to check the boys, time to check the boys. Ah, so hard. So my game plan is how I always race, which is to go hard from the gun, leave everyone for dead. So I'm going to try and beat the boys today by going out super hard and never looking back. Yeah, Andy had different ideas. Oh, yeah, it's tough. We can see them, we are close, but they are setting a good pace. But, yeah, we still have a lot of time to go. Uh, well, my game plan for today is to start solid. And it's the yeah one of the last days of the training camp. I have really no clue what the legs are uh, able to do. Uh, but then when I feel somebody is struggling, I will attack and yeah, just give it all and uh, yeah, push whatever I can. My game plan is to not let my wife beat me. I'm going to set off pretty much a consistent pace throughout and then try and hopefully save a little bit for a sprint finish at the end. Hmm, interesting that Lucy didn't feature in that game plan, Reese. I used to have a wife, but she said she had enough. The plan is to get from A to B as quick as possible um, and survival. I'm pretty smashed at the moment but I'm really looking forward to having a good hit up. It's my um, second time up the climb. Um, I've got Factor 30 sun cream on my nose which I probably don't need but um, always be prepared. Well, we lost him almost straight away but as the footage shows, he wasn't lying. It looks more like a ride to the shops than a race. Meanwhile, Gary was still in good spirits but sadly, this is the last we'll see of Gary today. My tactic, as always, is to take victory. I'm going to go out as hard as I can and just keep going faster. I'm going to smash it up today, big time. As you can see, I've been dropped. Fraser and Reese are up the road and I'm about to be passed. But ho, ho I have a trick up my sleeve. Cheeky tactic to try and uh, get myself on Andy Dreitz, but they didn't really succeed. But now I'm around, well, probably about halfway up this climb. I know this climb inside out, which is good and bad in some ways, because I know what I've got to come. Because after this, we hit the switch back, which just really hurts that bit. And you know you're so close to the end, every turn hurts. But I think that's going to be the bit that really changed the race up the front, because, well, assuming Andy and Matt catch Fraser, maybe they don't, he's riding well. Uh, I think Andy or Matt, one of them, is going to really kick on out of the, one of those corners. But yeah, be exciting to see. Off the pace back to I think I think Reese is just behind but I know that Andy is he's climbing quick I can see there on 
the hairpin that we just went through that he's not that far behind, so I'm kind of just doing my best to stay in front for as long as I can, really. Waiting for Andy to catch, which will be soon. A tough time here, I'm on my own, but not because I'm off the front, no. I've had to let Fraser go, and Reese is just going a little bit too hard for me. I had a funny feeling this might happen. I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone today. For me now, let's try and hold off Lucy. <laughs> caught up with Vandy, who is on takedown number three. So here's where we currently sit. Lucy and myself are riding together as are Matt and Reese just up the road, whilst Fraser is still clinging on to that pole position, but Andy is in hot pursuit. Whilst Fraser is having his own battle, as am I. But I'm a gentleman. I'm going to let Lucy get ahead. Oh, it's tough. It's so tough here. Trying to keep the gap. We are in the final stage now. Maybe four minutes more and then it's over. Well done. Wow. Oh. Some pain in the beginning. Well done, guys. Oh, God. Oh, well done, Lucy. Oh, <laughs> Well done. Oh, He's not with Lucy uh, anymore. That was emotional. <laughs> I uh, could hang on to the phrase as well. Hopped. Recovered a little bit again, and then Lucy came past. Thought I was doing all right, and then it was catastrophic. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, game plan kind of fell apart from the gun. My husband decided to just leave me straight away, so what's that for love? Thought we were working together. <laughs> yeah, it's um, a little bit of a poor handicap on our behalf, I think. Quite glad I got a minute. Yeah, it felt really good, so I just kept going. <laughs> I got, right. I got confused. <laughs> oh, I went up to Mirador. Oh. <laughs> I've done like 14,000 metres of climbing. <laughs> and I got burnt. Sun. <laughs> The first ever GTN versus Pro Challenge. And I'd say that was quite a success. At the prize giving, Andy cried and said what an honour it was to receive such a trophy. It was beautiful. Mark, I don't think Andy wanted his trophy. Mark, he didn't, like, Andy didn't even take the trophy back with him. Oh, man, well, that'll fit perfectly in the GTN. And you did come second after. I did, yeah. I did, I did. That's Perfect. Gonna, that's going to look beautiful. Look at it. Yeah, pride in place. Oh. Centerpiece. And now on that note, you went a little bit too fast for my liking. That was pretty impressive. I, to be honest, surprised myself with that, Mark. I actually thought I would be out the back door pretty much straight away. I so think a few more videos for this yeah. guy a uh, year down the line, and we'll, uh, we'll redo that one. 
Uh, but yeah, if you uh, like this video today, hit that thumbs up button. Um, I'm not sure I liked it too much, <laughs> but it was good fun, really. Um, and if you'd like to see more from GTN, you can click on the globe and subscribe. And we've done a pretty good challenge out here before as well. We sure did. So if you want to look at that one, you can click here.